Logan with me and McGee Market, and this week it's all about sourdough. We're gonna go up to Leslie at our friends with Serenity Farms, where it's made, how it's made. We're gonna even have our buddy Chef Josh make something with it and visit with Meg on why we eat sourdough. guys, it's Logan. I'm not actually robbing a bank. I'm in Serenity Farms Bakery that used to be an old bank, and we are going to learn a lot about sourdough and meet the wonderful people behind this bakery. So we are here at Serenity Farm Bread. Uh-huh. All right, and y'all specialty is sourdough? We do sourdough, wood-fired, brick oven baked sourdough. Wood-fired sourdough. Mm -hmm. So we've been working with y'all for a few years now mm -hmm. and uh, definitely a fan favorite when it comes to the people that visit the market. Mm -hmm. So we're here just to show, you know, behind the scenes and meet the people. Right. And uh, <laughs> we're, we're excited. Thank you for letting us come up. Absolutely, thank you for coming. So this is an old bank that the bakery is in. Uh-huh. Right. And the so building was built in 1906, I believe, and it was it started out as a bank and you can see the vault back there so which cool. the vault we turned into our pool room. And um, then it was a post office for a while and then it turned into a bakery and um, we've got this giant brick oven here. Uh, it was built by, it's built on the Alan Scott design, which he's kind of famous for making brick ovens, and this was one of his early prototypes of it. So it's one of the original in the country. Love it. Mm -hmm. All right, so as far as the food truck goes and what we offer, the country French. Uh huh, the country French sourdough. That's just our plain white sourdough. Plain white sourdough, mm -hmm. and you're going to show us how, how y'all make that. Uh huh. Yep, we're going to show you how we do um, the batard style, and then we'll do a couple of the round loaves as the well. The ba batard, and that simply is long, It's sort right? of, a, it's a short, fat baguette. Oh, um, the baguette's kind of the long, skinny one, and the batard is sort of a short variation. It looks more like your traditional loaf of bread. My name is Zach Folkers, and I'm the head baker at Serenity Farm Bread. All of our doughs that we make here at Serenity Farm Bread are true sourdoughs, meaning that we just use a starter for our leavening. No yeast or there's a lot of commercial sourdoughs out there that are not true sourdoughs. We're rolling the country French batard style loaf. We start by knocking the bulk of the bubbles out uh, so we don't end up with too many large bubbles in the final finished loaf. Then we do a bit of a fold to make it a long, narrow shape and slowly roll that up. And at the tail end, they seal the, we seal the seam and roll it. We, we also did the, the round loaves. And they start with a more traditional folding, kneading um, motion to get the loaf into a round and then it's laid on the side and pinched around in the bottom to tighten the outside of the loaf into a rough ball shape. And then those are put in uh, baskets that are lined with linen and dusted with flour to finish proofing. Main thing with the, the, the baking is getting timing right um, as far as making sure that my, my dough is ready to go in and become bread when I'm ready to put it in. The oven is a similar sort of thing where I've got to get the right amount of heat in it for the amount of bread that I'm baking, which is dependent on how much firewood I put in it and how much of a fire I, I put in it. A lot of times we get customers that either are, were from Europe, Europe or traveled in Europe and ate at a little town or something somewhere where they still have ovens like this. And so a lot of people, it, it invokes a bit of a memory like that, which is always neat to hear somebody talk about that coming into, you know, rural Arkansas. Knowing about where the products we carry is really, really important to us. I'm excited for Josh to get to have 
Serenity Sourdough on one of his amazing dishes. All right, guys, so we're showing you guys the uh, truck chicken sandwich that we're gonna have out here at the market. Like everything that we're trying to do on the truck here, it's gonna be all sourced straight from the market. So the chicken we're using are chicken breast from Forevermost Farms. Um, so but all we did was we took some butter that you can also buy here in the market and uh, put it down on the grill. We dropped our Forevermost Farms chicken. And now what we're gonna do is get our bread ready to go. So, like I said, we're gonna use the sourdough from Serenity Farms, okay? So I'll take it here, get a little butter on it. Now what I like about using sourdough is it's gluten friendly. It's, it's not gluten free, but it's gluten friendly, okay? Um, Serenity Farms will ship bread to you, but you can also get it right here at the market. So next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna get a little bit of mayonnaise, okay? Put that on there while that's toasting. Okay. We've also got some local Arkansas bacon here that we just par cooked off. Um, that way we can, when it's time to go a little faster, when we get busy, we, we're rocking and rolling. Okay. So we're gonna start getting our plate ready. So we got some roulette me and McGee pork rinds right here that we're gonna be using for our side dish. Now as the summertime goes, we'll probably use some salad, but right now we're focusing on the pork rind. I'm gonna set this up here, make it look real nice. So our chicken's getting pretty close. Get some good color on it. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna Melt us another piece of cheese on here. Check our bread, make sure we're not burning it. All right. Set up over here. You can also get um, all your local produce right here at the market. So we're gonna use romaine lettuce on this sandwich. And some local tomatoes here. Uh, this is kind of a spin-off of a sandwich that I do, uh, that I've done in the past. Uh, it's got a little bit of the sunshine seasoning, and then I add a little lemon pepper uh, just to give it like a little bit of a zip to it at the end, okay? All right, there you go. Truck chicken sandwich. Let me go see what Logan thinks about it. All right, bread. Most everybody loves bread, but gluten and ketogenic diets can throw things off. So, brought in our good friend Meg to talk sourdough, real sourdough, and the pros and cons. Welcome back. Happy New Year. We are going to talk about something that was very, very popular during the pandemic with people being home, making their own breads. But it has been around for thousands and thousands of years, and that is making your own sourdough bread. And so what sourdough bread is, is just a long fermentation that uses, of course, your flour from the grains, water. And then it also has to have those good microbes from bacteria and yeast and once those start to work, that's when everything cool happens and you're gonna get that sour dough. And the reason why you get sour dough is from lactic acid bacteria. That lactic acid ba bacteria is what's gonna give it that acidi acidity, but it gives it that tangy acid-like flavor. And then you're gonna naturally have yeast on the flour. 
That's not something that you have to have a packet from. That came about about 200 years ago. So, you know, long time ago, they didn't have that. So it's naturally occurring on the grains. And then that yeast works, needs that acidity. So the lactic acid has that acidity. And when that yeast starts to work in that, with those microbes, it breaks down enzymes. And enzymes are produced and those enzymes will start to break down the starches in the um, dough and then that feeds the lactic acid. So you have the lactic acid that makes it acidic, then the yeast will break down the um, starches, which then feed the lactic acid. So we have this continuing cycle. While all of that's going on in the background, some other things are starting to break down, which that's gluten. So a couple of the proteins from gluten get broken down. So a lot of times people that have a sensitivity to gluten are able to tolerate sourdough bread because those proteins in the gluten are broken down in during this process. And just to be on the safe side, you can always try to use these gluten away. I love these, I use them all of the time. I have a gluten sensitivity myself. And so this has some of those enzymes in it to help break it down so your body doesn't have to. This is really good to have on hand in case you might have something that can is contaminated with gluten. Or maybe let's say you eat out and you just don't know for sure if gluten has been around. These are good like little backups to have. And you can get that here at Lander's Corner. So today what we're going to do is we're going to make a bread salad and sometimes it's called panzanella salad. So we've already toasted some sourdough bread and we lightly drizzled some ghee and that was just melted down ghee and we use ghee because it, for those that have dairy sensitivities you get the same flavor and the richness of the butter with those benefits of the omega-3s but we don't have those properties in it that maybe affect people with dairy sensitivities. And so I've already chopped up a little bit of tomatoes. We're gonna chop up some more tomatoes and we want all of the juices from these vegetables because those juices are gonna help kind of make the dressing for our bread salad. So I'm gonna chop these up. In the salad today, we're gonna do, of course, tomatoes. I did a different variety just to get those different health benefits and phytonutrients and antioxidants from the different types of tomatoes. And so we'll add these in there. Then we're gonna to toss in a little bit of red onion just to kind of help give it a little bit of a heat. So we'll toss this half of a red onion goes in as well. Next, we're gonna add in a little bit of basil. So you can just take some fresh basil, tear it off. You know, basil has so many different antioxidants in it that only is particular to basil. So it's really good to make sure that you use a different variety of fresh herbs. And that way you're gonna have a good diversity of those antibiotics. I mean, antioxidants, which those antioxidants help fight off those free radicals and clear away those toxins that our bodies just kind of accumulate just with day-to-day -day stress and living and chemicals that we have around. So now what we're gonna do is add cucumbers. And I just wanted to show you guys a new technique that I like to use. We could chop these cucumbers if you wanted to. What I like to do is throw them in a bag. We have, have gone plastic free in our household, so this is just one of those silicone reusable baggies, you know, being health conscious and environmental conscious. And so we're gonna close this off and then you have a stress reliever. You get to break these down. And so this is gonna help trap those juices from the cucumbers, which we want because we want those juices to help with the dressing. So we're gonna break these down and then get them added in. So you can see, you still wanna have the chunks of the cucumber. We don't want it to just completely liquefy, but we have those chunks and now we have all of that delici delicious juice that's in there that's gonna go and really marry well with the salad. Last, we're gonna add our capers. So we're just about like a couple of tablespoons of capers. You can throw in the juice, that is fine. Remember, this juice is just gonna make that dressing even yummier. And then the star of the show, we're gonna add, of course, the bread. And this is toasted, so it's really hard. If you do it the day before, that's great.
Get all of the yummy crumbs. The last thing we're gonna do, of course, is add our dressing. I know we have a lot of good juices going on, but we're gonna, you know, kick it up a little bit. We have already minced garlic, just one clove. We are gonna toss in a little bit of Dijon mustard, probably like a teaspoon. Then we're gonna add some vinegar. I have some champagne vinegar, another vinegar that would be really good. It's that plum vinegar that you get at Lander's Corner. We're just gonna add a couple of tablespoons of this vinegar and then olive oil. Give it those good, healthy fat properties. Probably like a fourth of a cup. So we'll take this and shake it on up. And you have your dressing. And this is gonna go wonderful with all the juices that are already in there. So we're just gonna drizzle that on over. We've got that good garlic, the onions, the cucumbers, the tomatoes. And of course, we're gonna to top it off with our favorite seasoning, KB2, with a little bit of salt, garlic, pepper. All right, so now all we have left is to toss the salad and then we'll be ready to go. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for the tips, Meg. Gluten's definitely been an issue for our family. And uh, we had fun visiting our friends at Serenity Farm Bread up in Leslie, using the bread on the food truck with Chef Josh and Southern Standard. So thank you for watching. We really appreciate your time.